ഫുൾ എ പ്ലസിലേക്കുള്ള വഴി ഇനി തനിയെ തുറക്കാം സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു ദ്ലാപ്സ് ചാനൽ റിംഗ് ദ ബെൽ ബട്ടൺ ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പൺ സക്സസ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസി ഹായ് നോ യു നോ ഹൗ ടു റൈറ്റ് ദി സബ്ഷൽ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി എലമെന്റ് ഇഫ് യു നോ ഹൗ ടു റൈറ്റ് ദി സബ്ഷൽ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി എലമെന്റ് യു ക്യാൻ പ്രൊഡിക് മെനി properties related to that element okay so first we are going to find out how to determine the block in which the element belongs to on the basis of the subshell electronic configuration the elements are mainly classified into four blocks they are s block p block d block and f block if you know how to write the subshell electronic configuration of an element it is very simple to predict the block in which the element belongs to okay So if you write the subshell electronic configuration and the subshell in which the last electron enters is its block number we can explain it with the help of some example look at this table first we are going to find out the block of lithium lithium has its atomic number 3 so its subshell electronic configuration can be written as 1s2 2s1 here you can see that in the case of the lithium the last electron enters to the s subshell right that means lithium belongs to s block in the periodic table now we are going to find out the block of the magnesium magnesium has its atomic number 12 so its subshell electronic configuration can be written as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 here the last electron enters to the s subshell right so magnesium belongs to s block in the periodic table now consider the case of nitrogen Nitrogen has its atomic number 7. So its electronic configuration can be written as 1s2 2s2 2p3. Okay? So here if you look at this subshell electronic configuration you can see that the last electron enters to the p subshell. That means nitrogen belongs to p block in the periodic table. Now consider the case of scandium. Scandium has its atomic number 21. So its subshell electronic configuration can be written as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d1 here the last electron enters to the d subshell that means scandium belongs to d block in the periodic table now consider the case of chlorine chlorine has its atomic number 70 so its electronic configuration can be written as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 here the last electron enters to the p subshell that means chlorine belongs to p block in the periodic table now consider the case of iron iron has its atomic number 26 so its electronic configuration can be written as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d6 here the last electron enters to the d subshell that means iron belongs to d block in the periodic table now consider the case of beryllium beryllium has its atomic number 4 So its subshell electronic configuration can be written as 1s2 2s2 that means the last electron enters to the s subshell so beryllium belongs to s block in the periodic table now consider the case of argon argon has its atomic number 18 so its electronic configuration can be written as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 that is the last electron enters to the p subshell that means argon belongs to p block in the periodic table in a similar manner if you write the subshell electronic configuration of any element you can simply predict the block number in which the element belongs to okay so here one thing you have to remember that when you write the subshell electronic configuration and the last subshell is s subshell then you have to confirm that if there is any d subshell prior to it so if there is any d subshell prior to the last subshell yes then the element will belong to d block in the periodic table okay so i will tell you some examples if you look at the electronic configuration of scandium you can see that there is an outermost s subshell but prior to the outermost s subshell there is a d subshell right so scandium belongs to d block in the periodic table now consider the case of iron in the case of the iron also when you look at this electronic configuration you can see that there is an outermost s subshell but prior to this s subshell there is a d subshell that means iron also belongs to d block in the periodic table 
Now I am going to explain how to determine the period number of an element if you know its subshell electronic configuration. It is also very simple. If you write this subshell electronic configuration, then look at the last shell number or the largest shell number, it will be its period number. Now consider the case of potassium. Potassium has its atomic number 19, so its subshell electronic configuration can be written as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. Here also, if you look at the subshell electronic configuration, you can see that the largest shell number is 4. That means the potassium belongs to fourth period in the periodic table. In a similar manner, if you write the subshell electronic configuration of any element, you can simply predict the period number in which the element belongs to in the periodic table. Okay? So, we will discuss the remaining features about the Subshell electronic configuration in our next class. Moon lecture the level in the Chodi Trangle, eight to Unkuranjil Sondamakuan, wouldn't then download you. Yen Claps, the learning app.